um, group that I've, I've just started. So really happy to um, have Jesse on. Jesse, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Thanks for taking the time out tonight to join us on, on the live podcast. Um, you could be doing anything right now, but you're hanging out here with <laughs> us, with the folks at Late Night Parents. So it's it's kind of like the Wired family meet late night parents. I don't know if this is like yeah. a WWE show or something, but <laughs> well, really, it's a really pleasure. I, it is a pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me on. Um, I'm oh. super excited. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I, um, my kids are in bed. <laughs> oh, good, so, good, uh, good. At least the house is quiet. Uh, <laughs> you won't hear the thumpings of my uh, almost three-year-old, uh, but okay. I'm super excited to, to, to take part. In, in your show and, and talk tech and parenting and all things crazy. I heard your story about your water heater. I had a similar experience with my water heater. Um, yeah. We were lucky enough, though, that I happened to be in the basement when it happened, and um, I was looking for a pair of socks, and all of a sudden I hear this gushing water. And I'm like, oh my. what is that? So right. I opened up the, the, the room where the water heater was, and it was full of water. But oh. luckily, we were lucky because we, our home is pretty much, it's, it's a um, fairly new construction. So the okay. builder kind of built a hole, so that's where the water was going. Right. So it didn't spread out, but it was, there was no, we didn't have hot water for a few days, and we're like, wow, this isn't fun. You get to see the necessities of what you need. You know, you need electricity and running water, and and, and those are the things that that, that we need most. I got to tell you, Jesse. I mean, I my my home was constructed in 2002, and I keep I'm kicking myself saying, why didn't the the you know the builder build that funnel for us so that the water would funnel out and not into, you know, causing all types of chaos, but that's neither here no, nor I'm there. Actually, no, that's, and that would have been great because for us, our ba- basement would have been gone, you know, right. and, and, and it's kind of like um, uh, he, she cave down here with our, okay. you know, toys. Cause my husband also um, is into technology. So we have, and we have all the kids toys down here. So it, it would have not, been pretty had the water just gushed out so we were very lucky about that so we just you know pretty much just had to replace the water heater but um all things considered it went smoothly so i'm so glad to hear that it was like i said it was kind of messy for me it was it was touch and go but the related services did step up and do their job because if they didn't i would be putting them on blast on twitter but uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but that's the thing. In my previous life before kids, I worked in customer uh, service. And that means a lot when, you yes. know, you're in need and, and you call a company, any company, you know, and just need them to do, to like you said, step up and just do what they need to do. And it's amazing when it happens and you're like, wow, that was effortless. And, that yes. was, and that's how it should be all the time. And unfortunately, it's not. Hey, Jesse, enough about me, and this <laughs> segment is about you and all the great things that you're doing. Um, I got to tell you, and, and that noise that you hear in the background is my eight-year-old causing some type of chaos <laughs> in the family room. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's really live. Um, so, so just tell us, tell us about the Wired family. Tell us, you know, um, how did it come about. Um, you know, tell us about you. Well, um, the Wired family came uh, by way of a rebranding. I started blogging in uh, 2006. Um, My son, who was about six months old at the time, um, uh, I was home. I we decided. I decided. My husband and I that uh, it didn't make sense living in New York City to um, go back to work because my paycheck was pretty much going to go to uh, child care. Um, so I decided, you know, it was best for, for, for me to stay home. And, and the plan was to stay home for a year. Um, okay. Unfortunately, you know, the job market pretty much crashed. But um, right. 
and and I was pretty much out of options. But um, my husband put me onto Twitter, and he was like, you know, you can connect with other moms. Um, you're a first time mom. Everyone has questions. Just get on Twitter. It'll be a great way to meet people. So I said, fantastic, I'll do that. And that's how it started. And one thing, and you're going to laugh, um, is that every time I looked for parenting advice, um, I'm Hispanic, so looking for parenting advice in Spanish, whenever you would type in the word mommy, M-A-M-I, you would uh, see half-naked women. Oh. And so I'm like, yeah, nice. that's not the kind of advice I'm looking for. No. So I de- yeah. So I decided to um, create a bilingual blog, and it was called Echo Para Mama, which was made for mom, and it was a bi- bilingual lifestyle platform. Um, and I had that for a few years, and then I evolved. I wanted – I was very much into tech. I um, always have been. And um, with kids, and I – I'm going to age myself here, but I grew up in the time where dial-up was the hottest thing. So I needed to understand what my kids would be growing up with. And I needed to be a part of that. And I didn't want them to teach me. I needed to to be, I guess, a few steps ahead of them in order to to kind of like navigate through (laughs) um, the life of these digital kids. Because essentially our kids are growing up um, as, as these digital kids. Um, yes. And that's what that's why I just dove into tech and, and family tech because honestly, a lot of the, the the sites that are out there, tech sites that are out there, are very technical, and the average yes. person doesn't get it. They just want to know: does it work? Yes or no? Am I going to have problems? Yes or no? Am I going to have to block my kid? Yes or no? Like it, it needs to be very black and white when it comes to parents, yes. uh, parents and technology, because not everyone has that level that that technology, um, it, like my husband's into tech, so okay. I can always go to him, but everyone doesn't have an in-home tech person <laughs> that they can go to, and um, that's what led me to rebrand and start the Wired family. Jesse, I got to jump in here. I just want to let our folks know that we're speaking with Jesse Nidia's of the Wired family. Um, so you hit, up, you hit upon some, some key points. Because you go to some of these sites, whether it's TechCrunch or, or Mashable or whether you're going to Microsoft site and you're looking for specific, you know, information on how do I do this, and they'll give you the technical information on it, but like you said, sometimes you need it in layman's terms or, or as us both being parents, you need it in parent terms saying, saying you know, hey, I'm – looking for X, Y, Z, because I want to make sure my, my kids aren't watching X, Y, Z on their screens, and how do I control something like that? And Absolutely. Th- there's a gap. There's a gap. So uh, it, Absolutely. it's, it's, it's really is- exciting hearing this from you. No, it's, it is. There is a huge gap, and I just think that for, for most of us, you know, I, like I said, I own floppy disks. Right. I... You know, yes. the I had a tower. I it was just not the monitor. I had a big clunky tower um, yes. that I needed to make sure that that fan was running at any given time. And technology has changed dramatically since oh, I oh, what ten years, five years. And oh the fact that our kids are being bombarded with so much technology, and nine times out of ten, they don't know how to properly navigate it. <laughs> and they are either compromising themselves because they're not aware that, oh, I, you can't click on a questionable site because, you know, you might download a Trojan virus. Like right. they don't get that and their parents don't get that, nope. you know, and, and I think it's important to understand that. Like it's exhausting to, to try to stay one step ahead of your kids, um, but it, it's important to, to make sure that you understand what the, the life that they're going to be living. Like my kids are, are, are young. My kid, I have a seven-year-old and an okay. only three-year-old. My, and my seven-year-old is very tech savvy, but I have limits on him, you know, and I feel you like to. you need balance, you know, and you I feel like I am born, my, both my husband and I are born and raised in New York City. I okay. refuse to have my son look down at a tablet when he has this metropolis that he lives in. 
Exactly. Like I feel like it's such a disservice, you know. And listen to each his own, because I know that there are times where putting, like, just putting a screen in front of their face quiets them down for like the three minutes that you need to concentrate. And I completely <laughs> get that, and I've done that plenty of times. But I don't think that it should be a replacement for real life um, interactions and real life experiences, because there's nothing a, a, a tablet or a computer cannot replace the feelings that that your child has towards you or towards other people. I got, I got to ask you, um, because like you said, so you have a three-year-old, seven-year-old, I have an eight-year-old and a 14-year-old. So it's, I mean, there's that integration for you and I around that seven and an eight-year-old, but like, you know, we're at the other end of the scales. I got to tell you, yeah. tell me the best learning app that's currently out there in the market? Well, here's the thing. My son has, um, alert, my oldest son, my seven-year-old, has a learning disability. Um, and he has something called an auditory processing disorder, which okay. is, um, in, in layman's terms, it's, it takes him, when someone communicates with you, your brain processes that information instantly. For him, it takes him a little while longer. Okay. Um, and the apps that I use for him are a lot of language apps. Um, I had um, reading apps, Reading Rainbow, love it. Um, yes. I use Bop It is great as well because it's it's like speed. Um, I have Fast Forward, which is part of a learning program for him. Um, I have to say that my kids don't use apps. Like they don't use the tablets to like play Um with apps, they have, um, like, I, I, the apps they use are more um, education-based in that sense. Um, they have this one called Beep, Bebop. It's um, yes. Yes. like a programming. So yes. I had him do, I have him do that. Um, he has, um, by the time he gets out of school, he's pretty much burned out. So he <laughs> actually doesn't even touch, oddly enough, he doesn't even touch the tablet. My two-year-old, almost three-year-old, he's going to be three on Saturday. He oh, okay. is, yeah, he is full-fledged, terrible to, I think <laughs> I own the world. He acts, he thinks he's 14, so we may have more in common here than, than uh, we may think. But okay, he okay. is very much into, like, the PBS apps. Um, I do, I have audiobook apps for them. And they listen to, to books that way. Um, very boring stuff, I have to say. There's nothing um, action-packed in that sense. Um, just because I want them to just enjoy themselves, enjoy each other, and fight and, and, and just interact with each other. So there's a limit. Like I mentioned before, there is a, a, a limit on how much screen time they get because I'm very passionate about them learning about each other. And, and learning about, you know, what's right, what's wrong. And like I said before, I, an app can't teach you that, you know. And that, that's what we're into um, yes. right now. I, I got to tell you, we're running short on time, but I've got to get you back for a one-on-one -on -one because you, you started to dig into <laughs> so, many, so many different topics. I got to ask you really quickly, uh, I mean, we have a little bit of time, but I just – I mean, it, it's so good speaking with you. Um, from from your end, tell me something. When you want to put away the apps and you want to put away um, technology, what are you currently reading right now? Um, I'm reading A uh, Little Life, um, and the, the author's name is Hanya Yanagihara. I'm totally butchering that, that last name. I made a promise to myself to read four books a month because I needed to read more and, and be more disconnected and, and show my kids. I have a love for reading, and I want my kids to have that same love for reading that I do. Um, and I don't care if it's on the Kindle or on, you know, in a reading app or an audio book, but I want them to know that the more they read, the more they'll learn, um, in reference to Dr. Seuss. <laughs> um, but yes. it's, they need to, to – I reading is fundamental, and I want my kids to, to – fully understand that and fully know how much they can really learn when they just pick up a book and get lost. There's nothing better than getting lost in a book. And that's, totally. that's I want my kids, I want my kids to, to experience that. 
I, I got to tell you, one of the books that I'm reading just in the line of work that we do is so similar because we are expected to be brand ambassadors. We're expected yes. to blog about this, talk about that, jump on this show, do this segment, and, and there's a lot of parallels here. But I'm Absolutely. reading Dare to Be Extraordinary. It's a, it's a collection of positive life lessons from African-American fathers because that topic alone is maybe a five-hour podcast on yeah. where, where we're lacking, where we need to step up as men, and just not for African-Americans, just for all dads. But Absolutely. This, this is the, the specific book I'm, I'm, I'm reading. But even um, culturally. Yes. Absolutely. I, I got to tell you this much. We got to talk a little business. You got to talk a little business because, yes. uh, you know, big brother and big sister will be listening to this podcast. Um, <laughs> give me your thoughts on, I mean, I, I'm a newbie. I am totally a newbie. And you know where I'm going with this, Jesse. Yes. T- tell me about Files New York. I mean, I, it's, it's been great for me for three weeks, but you had years worth. Yes, I've been a customer for 11 years. We, The minute it became available in our area, we jumped. Um, and it was so in demand that we actually had someone from New Jersey come out to New York to install our service. And it was phenomenal. The, the technician came out, and there was some kind of a glitch that we couldn't get the service up and running. And he was in my house for like six hours until it was fixed. Like he was calling, it was amazing. And we have not had an issue at all. And we are, I work from home. My husband works from home from time to time and we're always connected and there has never been an issue. Um, We are either on a tablet, on a laptop, on, you know, watching, um, streaming something um, on our TV and we have a smart TV. So we have the apps built in. So it's always being always connected that that's pretty much our life and with files we have had nothing but amazing service and i'm going to go back to customer service their customer service has have has always been superb and i can count on one hand um on three fingers <laughs> um <laughs> the amount of times that i've had to call with an issue in right. 11 years it's unheard of and they're always on point that's that's my 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 biggest thing is that, that they're always on point and you pay for what you get you know, and True. that's also important, you know, because I, you know, I'm a parent of two kids and kids are expensive and I want my money to stretch just a little. And um, with files, you get what you pay for. You don't, if you don't want a certain service, you don't pay for that service. And it's just knowing that you have something you can depend on, especially when you're always connected and, and the high speed, the pictures that I can upload, the download speed, the the... <laughs> It's amazing, amazing. And the D, the amount of shows you can save on your DVR, it just, the list goes on and on. And like I said, it's been 11 years, and there's no stopping us. And I told my husband, if we ever leave New York City, we need to make sure that Fios is wherever we are. We, we plan on going, because there's why, why go with someone else when you've had such amazing service for so long. So true. I, I got to tell you, I'm a newbie. Um, I will hold off from my comments because, like I said, you and I are going to do uh, several podcasts because there's so <laughs> many different topics we can talk about. Um, our, our next guest that we do have in the queue, um, she's, um, she's a mom, she's a software engineer, and she's creating an app and a hardware device called Screen. So I don't know if you have time or not to hang on to listen, but you have the link. The, you have the link, you can stream it because it's so interconnected of what all the um, different items that we're talking about tonight. Um, like, like I said, it was a blast to have you. I want to give you a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, Thank now, you Jessie, so much. Oh, please. And you're everywhere digitally, <laughs> all over the place. So what I want you to do is Take this time out. Let our listeners know where they can find you, where they can find your work, your website. Um, you know, you're, you, you are a brand ambassador. So take the time out right now. Let our, let our listeners know where can we find Jesse Nunez. Well, the best place to find me is on Twitter, um, at Jesse Nunez. Anywhere that you find me, 
It's Jesse Nuez. I keep it simple. Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook is The Wired Family. Um, and my site is called uh, thewiredfamily.com. Um, and it has been an absolute pleasure to be on your show. Thank you so much. Oh, Jesse, come on. Like I said, we always talk in the chat room in our, our super private Files New York chat room yeah. that <laughs> no one's supposed to know about that, you know, it was great doing a chitter, uh, Twitter chat with you yeah. last Monday and also with the rest of the team. I'm looking forward to, to great things for our team. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm glad to be a part of the team, glad to know you Um all the best to you, your family, and your husband. And thank you. We, Likewise, we, thank you. We we will be talking. So thanks so much. Absolutely. And we need to talk sports. Baseball season is right about around the corner. Oh yes, it is. Like-